Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. I'm Burning Dog Face. And my last week has kind of sucked. So I'm hoping to make up for that. I've got here the stool from just over there. I received a few comments of people suggesting I try this. I could have sworn I had, but... Yeah, no, I can... Oh! Can I do it when I jump? I've actually had a couple of things there. Uh, KOR wanted me to try a stool. And I wrote it down. Matrix Mod wanted me to try this. Throwing a stick in the brazier. Oh, there's a basket right there. Hmm. He did say he vaguely remembered, so, you know. I could have sworn I had tried this at some point. Oh my goodness! Well, that is a nice way to start things off. What? I'm not an animal. I'm putting it back. Okay, technically I am an animal, but so is everyone else, and... I mean, technically that hasn't actually changed. Humans are just another form of primate. Like gorillas, or monkeys. Or that sort of weird in-between in area, like chimpanzees. Would you kindly go away so I can put this back? There. That guy must have had quite the day if he's been sleeping literally this entire time. Maybe he wakes up every time I leave. I was in exactly the wrong spot. Uh... Right. Put these back on, since I'm not with the uh, thieves just yet. Do I need oil? You know, since I'm standing right here. Oh. I can honestly say I've never been so tired that I, uh, slept the wrong way in the bed. Oh, yes. I used that to cut off some pursuers earlier when I was off camera. You are, annoyingly, in exactly the wrong place. Gesundheit. tight. Hey, guys! There's a smuggler's guild. <laughs> God damn it, we have standards here in the smuggler's guild. That's actually kind of helpful, since I had no direction at all before this. 
Also, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that Gusto appears to be tweaking one of his whiskers off of the side the way you might tweak a mustache, and this pleases me. Yes, this guy. I wonder who Asper was. Oh. Nothing! I was just taunting him some more. Got some on me, you ass. Later tonight, she says. It's like 7 a.m. Excuse me. The problem with working a boring guard position is that you never expect anything to go wrong. Hi! And when it does, you don't quite know how to handle it, even though I'm just sitting here in this big obvious hat and looking around. Oh, I was wearing the fucking mask this time. Oops, let's just pretend I didn't do that. Retcon! Yeah, I was wearing uh, this when I spoke to them. Yeah. No, they would have taunted me about that, not the other thing. I don't really have any other masks except for the, uh... Whatever this is called. The face guard. Oh. Oh, no. It's this guy who goes, like, way deep in. Oh, no. No. I thought he just kept going. Well, I've accomplished some things, so yeah, save. What's the other thing I wrote down? Oh, yes! In addition to thanking uh, KLR and Matrix Mod for helping me burn that stupid banner, uh, sh uh, special shout out to Nintendo Fan Link, who uh, corrected a mistake I made in the previous session. Uh, the movie uh, What Lies Beneath. There we go. Uh, actually starred uh, Harrison Ford as the unfaithful husband, not Richard Gere. My mistake. Why am I in here? Oh, I need to say the thing with the disguises, don't I? Maybe they'll tell me where to get one. That would be a nice hint. So I'll just go over there and then take this shit off, I guess. You know, since it still benefits me. Oh, oh, oh. Let's catch over here and, you know, get my breath back. Hua! Uh, ahem. Yeah, you're right. Fine, for the sake of amusing myself, I will make this sacrifice and go back out here with the door wide open. <laughs> uh. This guy really doesn't give a shit about his job, does he? Piss. Okay, fine. Fine, let's go throw some money at our problem. Oops. Yeah, that's right, you better stay in that cell. <laughs> huh, problem solved. I don't need that. 
That's right, I got all the daytime mushrooms. I like this. As soon as the game realizes it's now impossible for them to pass their way here, they... Huh? Huh. That guy kept going for a little bit. That's unusual. Last time, they couldn't even have been in visual sight of the door. Uh, no, 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 no. I must have heard that. That's awesome. I'm slightly damaged. Let's just sleep for an hour and see if I got my health back. And most of it. Doesn't seem I can get all of my health back by sleeping. I've mentioned that before, but uh, this time I mention it because it suddenly reminds me of a bit from uh, what's it called? Chrono Trigger, where you use the machine in the future and it says your health is restored, but you're still hungry because the uh, the shitty villagers in the post-apocalypse future are using it to stay alive, but they're still constantly starving to death. <laughs> All right, Rolo, tell me where to find this thing. Yes. Yermin! I might as well. Nope, nope, I cannot. Eight florins is not a good price, and there's only one of them left. Okay, back into the jail. Fine. Fine! We're looking. You know, given that I didn't know I would need them, it's entirely possible I found one and then left it there, because I, uh... Oh, I've got one of these already. I mean, I already have two of them totally by accident. How about you? Do you have one? No. I wonder. Uh, I was wondering if I could catch it on fire and then throw it. Uh, but, I don't know. I can think of a few different games where that would have worked, so... Oh dear. Well, problem solved. I mean, I'm gonna need to get back in there eventually in order to check out the, uh, chests. And, you know, scratch that itch to... convince myself I, uh... I don't need to get in there. I never did figure out what that was for. I got me a bucket. Maybe I could, like, bail out this cell or something. I don't know. I wonder if that's sewer water or lake water. Let's not think about it. Why is this closed? Oh. I'm having flashbacks to the last time I uh, hid from this guy in this chest in the very first episode, when they taught me about hiding and stuff.
You know, it's just now occurred to me for the first time to wonder. Why is Tylo the only one who gets a cell with two different locks on it? Because I used Silas's key to open this door, but then there was a scripted thing where I tried to open this, it woke up the guy, and he opened it to look in here and check. I remember that, because I, uh... I was uh, kind of embarrassed that I left the door to the other- to the other part of the cell open. That's right. Hello, frog. I'm here to pester you. Oh. Uma Rezia. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I I, I kind of like this guy. Her glasses. Oh, red. You'll ha need to help me diet and run a brush through before she gets here. What color? Think, Mousy. They didn't call me Red Whiskers for nothing. I do. I do. Uh, you know what? I'll just, uh... I can't even see the fucking layout of the room. Ah, there we are. Aren't there more traps in here I didn't get? I don't know. At least it's safe now. Right, yes, that's right. That's how you get back out. Or... Yeah, they both lead down to the same place. Okay! I guess I'll just, uh, do this. And, uh, yeah, that should do it. Wisps of white hair snag on the brush's bristles as you drag it through the frog's matted whiskers. Soon you've enough hair to make a beard of your own. Wait. Gingerly massage the sweet smelling, smelling sticky red paste through Carol's whiskers. Why, you look like a tadpole! Die, mousy, die! I didn't notice that before. <laughs> Is your captain now? Right. Maybe we shouldn't tell him that that's my cell.
What? Oh. I understand it is, uh, fairly common to make a... or to dream about your teeth falling out if you have worries about your financial situation. I have no idea why! It's just something I've read. Fake beard. A false beard made from the... Well, it's a real beard, technically. It's just not mine. Made from the whiskers of a pirate frog. The story of how this beard came to be is one you will never share. Not even with Mera. It is a secret you will carry to your grave. <laughs> ah, I like that. It gives me absolutely no change to my stats whatsoever. <laughs> I like that. Oh. Well, I can look in there in the next episode of, uh... Let's play Ghost of a Tale. I'm really pleased that I managed to accomplish that task in the, uh... In the same day I promised I would do it, given that he said she'd be there later in the day. Given, you know, the last time I said uh, I would do something. It's like, come back here in about half an hour, and I had to wait like two days in order to get back to where he was. Uh, yes, that was Rolo on the shore, I remember now. Um, so yeah, I'm Burning Dog Face. I'll see you next time. Later!